Hi folks, Sally here. I want to cover something that a lot of people don't talk about. We all deal with it, but it's really not a subject you hear a lot about. Uh, and it's called depression. And I don't mean like suicidal depression where you want to jump off a building, but I do mean depression in the respect that you feel helpless, you feel overwhelmed, you feel um, out of your element, or you feel like, man, I just can't make it on my own, I need some help. Uh, I, and I want to cover this subject, especially uh, at this time of year in January, where the days are about as short as they, they ever are, right? There's, there's more dark than light. Even, even, the, even when the sun is up, it's cloudy. Uh, we're all deprived of vitamin D from the sunshine. And a lot of us struggle with, you know, um, in January, our businesses have slowed down. We're trying to get them ramped up again. And I want to talk about uh, some of the factors that cause us to be depressed and what we can do about and what you can do about uh, depression, how to handle it, and how to knock, knock it out of uh, your psyche. You know, just kill it dead so it doesn't affect you. And one of the best things that you can do to handle depression where your business is concerned is to have a good balance in your life. You know, this uh, Christmas, we were in the middle of some big deals, and we expected a, a big deal to drop uh, December 15th, and it just didn't drop. And then the holidays hit. And once the holidays came, all we could really do is wait until we got through the holidays to put our focus back on, you know, pulling, reeling this deal in, right? And so uh, there really wasn't anything more that we could do as far as the business is concerned. So if all of your energy, all of your focus, all of your heart is tied up in your business, you're going to experience this kind of a kind of a thing because <clears throat> you know you're putting so much emphasis on one thing. So the the way to combat that is to have balance. It's when you have balance in your life. And what am I saying? Well, you know, uh, health goals, fitness goals, uh, personal goals, personal development, taking classes. All of these things kind of give you little mini wins. And when you're making progress, you know, if you're struggling in your business, but you're making progress over here, well, then you have something to be happy about. You have something to look forward to. You have something that lifts your day. Um, you know, because the weather's been crummy, I haven't been going out a lot, uh, you know, I have a gym membership, but I just haven't been driving to the gym. And for a couple of months, I kind of just stagnated. I wasn't walking, I wasn't working out, I wasn't lifting weights, and I thought, man, I really gotta, I've gotta nip this in the bud because I was getting depressed by it. It was affecting my psyche, it was affecting my attitude. I said, well, what, what, what am I gonna do? Well, my, my building, this building that I live in here, we've got a, a small workout room downstairs, it's not much, a couple treadmills, a couple elliptical machines, and I said, let me do what is in my power to do. Even if I'm just making small, tiny, incremental gains, at least I'm making gains. At least I'm going forward in the right direction. So I said, I'm going to get on that treadmill 20 minutes. I'm going to uh, take those, those light little 10-pound uh, weights. I'm still going to lift them. I'm going to do some body weight exercises. I'm going to use our tanning bed. I'm going to use the dry sauna. And even though I'm not going, braving the elements, going out in six degree cold and driving to the gym, I'm still making some positive momentum. Even though I might be able to make more momentum at the gym, or even though I might be able to make more momentum if it were summertime and I was going on my, my, my nice two mile walks, at least I'm moving in the right direction with my fitness goals and with my health, the overall well-being. The other thing that I said I'm going to put a focus on once I got through the holidays is I'm going to start eating low again. I'm going to start skipping uh, meat, at least one meal. So even though I was waiting for like January 5th to roll in before I could start getting busy in business again, I started making changes and uh, forcing improvements in other areas of my life and it kept me out of the doldrums. It kept me out of that place where I just feel like my life is on hold. Have you ever felt that way? Sometimes you're waiting for some money to come in and because you don't have a lot of money, you feel like your life is on hold. You feel like you're waiting for some event to happen so you can start living again when the truth is it's always in the space between your ears. You can live every day to the fullest whether you have money or whether you don't have money, and it's all about having balance. If you're feeling negged out, you're probably too focused on yourself. Go help somebody. Offer your assistance somewhere, a relative, uh, someone that you know that needs help, or listen to some personal development. Uh, watch a movie that inspires you. Listen to a personal development coach that inspires you. You know, if there's a loop going on in your head, the good news is that, you know, emotions are fleeting, they're not static, 
They come and they go. You can change the loop in your head. You can change the way you feel just by making positive affirmations. Sometimes just get in front of the mirror and tell yourself that you love yourself. I, I mean this. Try it. Look yourself in, in, in the eyes, in the mirror, and just tell yourself that you love yourself that you accept the person that you are, that you appreciate the talents and the skills and the contributions that you have to make to society, and you will be amazed how you're, you feel it in your physiology. You'll be amazed how you can change your state just with positive affirmations, looking in the mirror, listening to music, listening to personal development, watching inspirational things, following other people that are on the cutting edge, accomplishing the things that have already been to the places that you want to go. There is never an excuse to be depressed. Uh, people that are depressed feel like they have no control. People that are depressed feel like they cannot affect change in their life, and that's just not true. Look, it doesn't matter if you've arrived at the shiny, happy place that you want to be. All that matters, ladies and gentlemen, is that you've left. You have left the building. You're taking the journey. Don't despise the day of small beginnings and get the balance in your life. Eat low to the ground, eat healthy, take care of yourself, exercise, offer your talents and your skills and your experiences to other people, donate some time at church, donate some time at a food pantry, donate some time anywhere where people have organized something that you can uh, put some of your energy to. And when you help people that are less fortunate, you'll be so much more grateful for the, the blessings that you have in your life. And every day, ladies and gentlemen, is a gift. You know, somebody asked me today, they said, Tom, how are you doing? And I said, man, blessed and highly favored, best day of my life. And he said, why? And I said, what do you mean, why? He said, well, why is it the best day of your life? And I said, because it's a choice. I choose. I've decided today is the best day of my life. And you can too. It all happens in the space between your ears. Be encouraged. Uh, keep your chin up. Keep the faith. Keep plugging. Keep swinging for the fences. And we'll see you on the next one. God bless. Thank you.